Step one for drawing. Gently remove the pens from the packaging they came in. This might be challenging, but just go slowly. Open up a pen to find the ink cartridge just rattling around inside. Take it and firmly inject it into the front of the pen so the ink can start flowing. Test it out on a little piece of paper and then happily notice that all the different parts of the pens you bought can be interchanged to get different cool color combinations, but then decide the way you've redesigned the pens makes them look garish and tacky and you wish you could get them back to the way they were. They looked really nice. If you follow these simple steps, you should be ready to draw. These are the steps I followed and it worked out pretty good for me. I bought these pens for $12, I think, at a local plant store called the Tiny Greenhouse. Uh, if you live in Greensboro, I definitely recommend it. It's not really a greenhouse. It's just a regular building. It's a store, but there are a lot of really beautiful plants in there and pots and a lot of other fun little things like colorful fountain pens. Uh, a picture, my friend saw a picture of these pens on my desk and I didn't really think about it, but I could see how some people might think that these maybe should and would draw in many different colors. But no, I looked on the package very carefully right before I bought them that yes, it's just black ink in these. But they are each, they, they each have two colors. So I don't know what color each one would draw anyways. Maybe they would be double-ended pens, one color for each color represented, or maybe even more interestingly, the resulting color coming out of the pen would be somehow the combination of the two colors represented on the pen. I think for some of them that would just turn out to be brown, but for a couple of the others it could be some cool color math results. You can't find these online um, if you can't go to the tiny greenhouse in my town, but um, I think there might be might like $15. Someone on Instagram said they found them on Amazon for $15, which is still pretty cheap. That's like $3.75 per pen. As far as fountain pens go, they... I don't know, they're average, right? Which is, which is okay. Like, as you can see here, I drew a whole picture with them and many times I've had fountain pens or pens in general. Look, I will, if I'm having trouble drawing with a pen, I will stop, okay? If it's ruining my drawing experience, I won't think about it, I'll stop because the drawing experience is paramount to me. That's what I want and I won't let a pen get in my way, and you shouldn't either. So if you're not having a good time with your pen, if your pen is ruining it, then stop and switch. That's why it's so nice when you know you have like a good go-to pen that you can pick up every time, and you know it's gonna be a good experience, you can rely on it. Uh, I think in the future, if I try these pens again, I might make take one of these cartridges. I'm not gonna f bother trying to see what a uh, piston converter might fit. Actually, I might do that, just because I'm curious. But also I wanna do this, I wanna try I mean, after this drawing, I probably almost emptied one of the cartridges, but I want to empty the cartridge completely, probably use a syringe, suck all the ink out, and then rinse it out with a syringe with a bunch of water, and then put my own ink in there and see if that makes a difference and makes the experience any better. Um, because then maybe like a three, three and a half dollar pen could really be, you know, taken up to the next level. It's one of my least favorite things about it is the the nib. The nib of this one looks a lot like the Lamy 2000. Let me look that up again. Lamy 2000. And if you've heard of this, this is a very popular pen. A lot of people really like it, but this pen costs over a hundred dollars. It has a very distinctive look, but in my opinion, it's a very, very ugly look. But the nib of the Lamy 2000 and the nib of this pen are very similar in the sense that the nib barely sticks out at all. It has like a, a cowl around the nib supporting it. And in this pen, it looks a little cheap. It makes the nib look a little cheap. And I think it does in the Lamy 2000 also. That's just my opinion, right? We're allowed to not like things, even though... Like I see people post pictures like, oh, I just got the Lamy 2000 and then, you know, various fountain pen forums and everyone's like, oh, nice. I love that pen. It's so beautiful. I'm just like, no, no, it's not. It's super ugly. Anyways, enough Lamy 2000 hating. 
Um, also, I wanted to say I like these pens because they have a nice kind of uh, rubbery grip, okay? I am just talking about them a bunch because I was at a plant store buying a, a present for a friend's birthday, and I didn't expect to find fountain pens there. It was a happy accident. And they worked for a whole drawing. So I feel like I've got my money's worth, especially if I can manage to get some other ink in them, and that makes them work even better. And they're nice and colorful, which I don't normally do. I usually like my nice, like, steel gray or black pens. But these are a nice change-up. Bring some color to my desk, my pen collection. Works good. And this drawing was fun, too. I put a lot of little droplet shapes in there. Someone on Instagram said it was like a, I think what they said was modern mandala, which I kind of see. It's like a deconstructed mandala that's like exploded and dripping down the page almost. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everyone. Let me know if you found some other good cheap fountain pens out there. There are a lot of them, actually, surprisingly, like a lot of those Jin Hao pens, like uh, <laughs> all those weird pens on Wish. I think the much is the Pilot Metropolitan Pilot? I think this one's probably over ten dollars. That one, this is seventeen dollars now. I feel like it used to be much cheaper. Wow, in a silver vert version, twenty-two dollars. Version with ink cartridges, twenty-nine dollars. I thought this used to be a cheap starter pen. Now it's as much as like every other pen. Anyways, all right, goodbye. See you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.